What's going on guys? Christian here from CK Wraps. Today I'm going to give you a walk around video of my Jeep Gladiator that I just wrapped in the very first roll of Vivid Color Fusion. What is Color Fusion? This is colored paint protection film. Cosmetic paint protection film is the word we're using these days. This is a dry installation paint protection film with pigment to it. This color right here is Stealth Gunmetal Gray. Friggin' love it. I wanted something gloss, but I actually friggin' love this. It is so smooth. This film does work differently. This is TPU. This is not cast or PVC. What you find with other brands like Avery, 3M, and so on, they're cast films, PVC, there's polymeric, and so forth. This is a much more durable film. This is a film that's going to last you at least twice the amount of time as a cast film, as the best cast film. This is a little thicker. It's about six and a half mil thick, not millimeters. That's microns or thousands of an inch. And that's going to prevent stones or debris from penetrating the film. But it's not only, only that. TPU stands for thermoplastic polyurethane. And that type of material is much softer and much more elastic, which means that it's just, it recoils or repels debris being thrown at it much better than a cast PVC or polymeric film. Cast PVC and polymeric, they typically become very rigid and fragile in cooler temperatures, and you don't even have to get that cold. I would say under 65 degrees Fahrenheit or under 18, 16 to 18 degrees Celsius, where the film can just snap. That's not very cool, right? A lot of us live in places that see temperatures that drop much lower than that. So maybe in Canada, this is amazing stuff. I chose this finish because I just wanted something different. This is nothing like I've ever seen before in a matte sat slash satin finish. I don't even know if I want to call it matte or satin. It's kind of both. It's got a great color to it. It's got great depth. It is super smooth. There isn't a single line or imperfection in this anywhere. It is like the most pure looking material I've ever seen. You have to be careful with other companies entering the market in this industry right now. This is an upcoming industry. This is this is going to be booming. This is where the future of vinyl wrap is going. We're not going to be using, I mean, I sure won't be using cast PVC or polymeric films anymore. I will be using only cosmetic paint protection film or TPU because this makes the most sense. When we're only paying a couple hundred dollars in difference in the cost difference of material, it makes way more sense to use something that's way more durable, scratch free. So if you're doing gloss, you're basically going to be able to heat out your scratches from squeegeeing just after your installation. And if you're doing gloss black, this is a huge deal, but you can just heat them out with steam, a heat gun, warm water, whatever, or throw it out in the sun in the summer day, on a summer day, whatever it is, it's going to heal out. That's incredible. So this being a matte film, it doesn't even actually scratch, which is crazy, because um, I've tried. And even if I do scratch it with a brass brush and I get some visible scratches, it just heals out, which is nuts. We'll put a little video in there of that for you guys afterwards. Um, the Jeep isn't quite complete yet. I didn't do the other two doors on the other side, but that's okay. I just wanted to finish this up and get you a, because the grill is the hardest part actually, um, get you a full, basically view of what this film and finish looks like. My experience with this film was amazing. It was, it, ex it exceeded any expectation that I ever had for installing a film that's six and a half mil thick. It was extremely pliable. It has air release. It works well. You still have to deal with the fact that it's not a pressure sensitive film. So the fact that it's not a pressure sensitive film means it's going to trap air here and there, it's gonna happen with any brand other than two brands on the market um, that have pressure sensitive films. Otherwise, this went down like butter. I actually thought the hood was gonna be hard because it's a very large flat area and or very right in the center. And that can be, and it's horizontal, so that can be really challenging with non-pressure sensitive adhesives. And they went down like butter. I think the video for that is gonna be like 30, 40 minutes, whatever 40 minutes, let's say. Um, didn't take me very long at all. I was a little bit nervous about it. This film right here is wrapped over textured plastic. Like, look at it. It is so smooth. It is incredible. I like the fenders to match 
the rest of the vehicle, even though mine came with a matte black textured plastic, I like it to match the rest of the vehicle, but you cannot even see the texture of the actual finish underneath that. This is probably more so a matte slash satin film type of thing. You might see that with a gloss, but just showing you what the possibility is here. I don't highly recommend that you wrap over textured plastics unless you know what you're doing, but it is definitely possible. Corners and everything turned out spectacular. Everything is mint. This film does not shrink. So in the sense of wrapping, when we're used to vinyl shrinking, cast, PVC, polymeric, we use that to our advantage. We have been using that to our advantage. Most of us do. And this doesn't have that advantage to it. But even though it doesn't, advantage, disadvantage, it can definitely work against you. Um, even though it doesn't, it conforms incredibly well around corners. Some corners, there's obviously different types of corners. Some corners, yes, you have to do cut and folds, and they, I do show that in some of the videos here. But as we look through the entire wrap, and don't mind some of, this is you know, a five-year-old Jeep, so the hinges are a little bit corroded, this and that is not 100% perfect, but if we're looking at just the wrap, you know, this Jeep was red, covered all the red, as much as you can possibly see, more or less, the hinges are wearing some stuff away there. The frame is all wrapped and stuff, but that's from like five years ago as well, almost five years. Everything looks fantastic. I'm super pleased with the actual outcome of this. I enjoyed the installation process. It was a learning curve for me. Because this is TPU, this has a more elastic feeling to it. It's more like an elastic band. The recoil on it can be very aggressive if you stretch past an edge even a little bit. So you have to be careful of that. There are certain tips, techniques, and tricks that I've encountered when I was installing this that make it just stay down, honestly. Like I actually had a bubble somewhere and it just went away all by itself. I don't even know how that happened. I have to figure that out. Um, overall, very pleased with the outcome of this. We're gonna get the vehicle outside to actually show you what this looks like because it's not realistic to see it inside my shop. It's also important that you see something like this outside. All right, now that we're outside, I'm gonna show you what this wrap looks like in the sun slash cloudyish skies. And then we can move around the vehicle, take a few steps backwards and move around the vehicle and show you what this looks like more from a distance in natural lighting. Obviously the lighting in the shop is not normal. You know, most people don't have that type of lighting in their shop. So it is important to see what it wraps look like when you're outside. You can see how it shifts a little bit. There's not, obviously this is not a color shifting film, but you can see how the lights are reflecting off of it or just the natural lighting is reflecting off of it. And you can see how this color and finish looks in a natural state. This will give you a better representation of what we're actually looking like, what this wrap actually looks like when we're outside. Again, all the benefits of paint protection film in a color that is dry installation. All right, guys, we're back in the shop. Jeep is always here. I just took it outside for some video to show you guys, but it was always here. Now, again, my overall experience with this film was a pleasure. It was really nice to install. It has its challenges. It's not as simple as it feels. It feels really easy. And there is an aspect to that, obviously, where, you know, that, that feeling of the film, creates this overall uh, boost of your confidence because you know the softer and the more pliable it feels the more confidence you have to install something um, especially if you have installed vinyl wrap before you'll know that there are certain brands out there that you may if you have experienced different brands you may prefer certain brands over other ones due to their feeling and feeling has a lot to do with things now, the first impression when I picked this film was like, I was like, whoa, this is incredibly soft. Um, it, it's the softest, the softness is a good thing because again, with it being a TPU, this allows the pliability to recoil anything coming at it, debris, for example. Um, the fact that it also has a self-healing characteristic is another huge benefit to the properties of what this has to offer. And again, longevity and pigmentation and so forth huge 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 things if you're planning to keep your wrap on your vehicle or customers want their, their wrap on their vehicle for like four five six seven eight years this is it like this is what you want 
um, someone who's not looking to keep their wrap on a vehicle for more than a year, okay, maybe they don't want something like this. Maybe they don't care. But even for a year, if you're doing enough driving, this is going to prevent anything, most things, from piercing the film and penetrating towards to the paint and causing any imperfections in the paint. So whatever condition the vehicle comes in at, at that point, when you do something like this over top of it, when you remove the wrap, it will be the exact same, more or less, the exact same condition as it was when it came in for a wrap. Cannot say the same thing for cast PVC and polymeric films because they are thinner, more fragile, especially in cooler temperatures, but they're just thinner and fra more fragile overall. Um, while this is going to actually offer you that real paint protection benefit because it is paint protection film. I hope you enjoyed the walk around video of what this, what my Jeep looks like. I'm actually super stoked to get it outside and drive it around. Can't be more excited for it. I never thought of myself as a matte finish person, but this definitely changed my mind. I think it suits it very nicely. Couldn't be happier with my color decision or my finish decision, to be honest. I like to wrap my vehicles in chrome, as most of you have seen. And this is the first time since I've owned it, second time, other than the first wrap, which was sad and black, the second time I've owned it that I've wrapped it in something that wasn't, wasn't chrome and shiny and glossy and super out there. But I think that this will still draw in plenty of attention when it comes to drawing in customers. You know, maybe necessarily want to go with a gloss film. Maybe you want to go with a matte slash satin film like this because you want to stand out. You want people to recognize like, hey, whoa, what is that? Color, finish, so forth. I want that for my vehicle. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, the links are in the description for the, my website and also for training on hand, in-person training. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Take care.